Hello everyone! In this video, it's all about frequency and percentage. At the end of the video, you can compute for descriptive statistics such as frequency and percentage using SPSS and interpret the result. Let's define first frequency count and relative frequency. A frequency count is a measure of the number of times that an event or data value occurs. The relative frequency for the subgroup is computed as relative frequency is equal to subgroup count divided by the total count. The relative frequency can be expressed as a proportion and as a percentage. Thus, a relative frequency of 0.50 is equivalent to a percentage of 50%. A frequency and percentage distribution is a display of data that specifies the percentage of observations that exist for its data point or grouping of data points. It is a particularly useful method of expressing the relative frequency of survey responses and other data. Many times, frequency and percentage distributions are displayed as tables or as bar graphs or pie charts. Let's say we have uh, we have here a statement of a problem okay, of a certain or a particular research paper. Okay, so the first SOP is, let's say, what is the profile of the participants in terms of gender, educational level, and nationality? And let's say we have here a sample uh, data. So to organize our data in a Microsoft Excel or in an SPSS, we need to actually do some coding for these profile variables. Let's say for gender, we use 1 for male, 2 for female. For educational level, we have 1 for elementary graduate, 2 for high school graduate, 3 for college graduate, and 4 for graduate degree. And for the variable nationality, we use 1 for Filipino, 2 for Swiss, and 3 for Italian. Okay, so in our Microsoft Excel or in our SPSS, we use the first column for the participant number. So let's say, for example, you have 50 respondents, so you have the participant number 1 up to 50. The second column will be for the first variable gender. And instead of encoding or inputting the actual data as male or female, you're going to use the code here. So make all your data numeric. So do, do the same with uh, other variables, uh, educational level and nationality. Okay, so now I'm going to actually uh, demonstrate on how to... Um, get or compute for frequency and percentage using our SPSS. So uh, this is the same data a while ago. So it's actually encoded first in MS Excel, but we can uh, immediately in input this one also in our SPSS. Okay, but this time I just uh, encode it in a Microsoft uh, Excel and we're going to copy and paste it in our um, SPSS okay so you can start it here you may not copy the column for participant number you can just copy the actual number so you start with one here you drag okay and then you have to actually copy this data and you paste it in our SPSS. So as you can see, SPSS interface is actually similar with that of our Microsoft Excel. So we need to actually input our data in, S in, in SPSS in the data view. Okay, so uh, you can actually click it on the first cell and then you paste the data. Okay, and then the second view is what we call variable view. 
So we're going to change the variable names as to the arrangement of the variables that we have a while ago, like gender, educational level, and the nationality. So you can change that to uh, gender. And then this one is educational level. And this one is nationality. So we have three variables, isn't it? Okay, so as you can see, we go back to data view. Okay, the default variable name a while ago here was actually over changed into our variable names. Okay, and the next thing in our variable view, we need to actually determine the measure or this is what we call the level of measurement of each of the variable. Okay, so we have to determine whether the given variable is nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio. But you cannot see here ratio or inter interval. Instead, we use the term scale. That is for both uh, ratio or interval because uh, the two are the same. They are just numerical values. Okay, so uh, we're going to uh, determine it. So for the first variable gender, we know that it is nominal. Uh, educational level is ordinal and nationality is ordin uh, I'm sorry it's nominal okay so since those three variables are e are are either nominal or ordinal and we use actually uh, coding a while ago if you still remember so we need to actually change okay the values here so for gender, we need to click this part here and a dialog box will appear on value la labels. So for this value here, we use one. We in input one, the label will be male. You copy or you have to actually base it from the coding that you used a while ago in organizing or tabulating your given data or your raw data. So the value two, uh, the meaning of that is for actually female. And that's it for gender. You click add here and then click OK. And then for educational level, if you still remember, our value one is actually elementary uh, graduate. Okay, our value two is actually high school graduate. And our value three is actually college graduate. A four is actually with graduate degree okay and then after encoding all the values one to four we need to click OK here and we do also for our nationality so I think one is Filipino two is actually Swiss and the third is actually Italian Okay, so you click add here and then okay and that's it and you make sure that the type of your data is numeric and you can actually change the width to to the to the to a number or six or eight but you can actually do not change this uh, we use eight and decimals too so we don't need to actually change all of this so that's how to input okay our actually data and to actually change some of the uh, characteristics in our variable view okay as to very important the variable name the measure and the values so if you're done you can actually uh, see where the effect of these values here with our original data here so as you can see it's still numeric but since we do some values uh, uh, labels so we can actually look into effect of that you can click here the view the menu menu bar and then you check value labels and you can see the effect to our data okay and then you can actually uncheck it again to transfer it con or convert it to numeric and that's it you can we can now answer our SOP a while ago what is the profile of the participants in terms of gender, educational level, and nationality? And the appropriate statistical test, okay, or statistics to be used there is what we call frequency and percentage. And how to do that using SPSS? You just click here, analyze. So look at this. 
click here analyze let's analyze here and then you point to descriptive statistics and then you click on frequencies okay and then a dialog box will appear and then you have to choose the variables okay wherein you're going to get the frequencies so we include all of these so you have to actually highlight that variable and click this arrow here to transfer it to the other box so you can also include this one you click this one and then you click the arrow and then uh, you can also add some chart here if you want bar chart or pie chart you may check those if you want to have a chart for uh, your data okay so if you're done with that you can just click ok and you have already the SPSS output for our frequency and percentage okay so as you can see this is our SPSS output okay so uh, I have to continue that with our PowerPoint uh, PowerPoint okay so this is the SPSS output from that uh, software okay so we have here the output for the frequency and percentage for gender, educational level, and nationality. So I will teach you on how to actually uh, get the uh, necessary uh, values here uh, to be included in our manuscript or thesis paper. So uh, in this output for gender, so what we need is actually the first column. Uh, that will be for the gender, male, female, and total. The second column will be the frequencies. So you can just uh, copy these numbers here. And the last column will be for the percentage. You have the 42, 58, and 100. And then you affix the present sign. Okay. And then for educational level, so it's just the same. You copy all these uh, levels here, and including the total, and copy the corresponding frequencies and percentage okay and then you don't need to actually uh, include the valid percent and cumulative percent and then in here and the last uh, uh, profile variable nationality so just the same you copy the different nationalities here Filipino Swiss and Italian the frequencies including the total and the percentage Okay, so now uh, how to interpret, okay, these SPSS results. So in our manuscript or in our thesis paper, we need to actually put a title for that table. So uh, to, to actually write the title, we can actually state it as this. Table 1, Frequency and Percentage Distribution of Participants when Grouped According to Gender and how to discuss or to interpret this table we can have this one as an example as gleaned on table one out of 50 participants 29 or this equivalent to 58 percent are male and 21 are female this means that majority of the participants are female so we use majority because uh, the percentage here is actually at least uh, or it's actually more than 50%. Okay, so you may use the word majority. For table 2, we can have the title as Frequency and Percentage Distribution of Participants when Grouped According to Educational Level. Okay, and to interpret this table, you can actually have this format as shown on table 2, the highest percentage, that's 17 or 34 percent of the participants are college graduate, 13 participants are high school graduate, and 10 each are elementary graduate and with graduate degree. And for the last uh, variable, nationality, we can have the title as table 3, frequency and percentage distribution of participants when grouped according to nationality and for the interpretation or discussion table 3 reveals that the highest percentage that's equivalent to 20 or 40 percent of the participants are Swiss followed by Italian and Filipino
and that's how to actually uh, run okay, the descriptive statistics frequency and percentage using SPSS and how to organize them, put them into a table, and how to interpret the results. This is Roldan. Just mabalo. See you in our. See you in my next video. Bye.